What's popping into gang? It's your girl Kay and Baby Venus. Who wants to be so loud right now? And we are back with another video. It's a travel vlog to be specific. And y'all, when I tell y'all I am so excited, I'm definitely like, dang, I wish our first travel vlog for our channel could have been together, like, you know. But that's coming soon. This is my mom's birthday trip. So you know, just real calm, real casual. But y'all, I need this trip with all my life, okay? It is currently 7:30, and I'm actually supposed to be leaving right now so i'm about to call my uber actually <laughs> right now but yeah y'all i just wanted to just say hey to you guys and say good morning and you know kind of just start the travel vlog here i want to try to get as much as possible because i've never vlogged when i traveled i definitely want to be as detailed as possible show you guys as much as i can and you know really just go from there but i definitely wanted to take you guys on this experience and just kind of vlog and log how i'm feeling like what i'm doing all that good stuff just to honestly have it for our memories and then also to just give you guys an insight on you know where it is that i'm going drop some last minute guesses down below you guys probably already know by now but if not drop some last minute guesses in the comment section on where i'm going but yeah i'm super excited i've never been here before it's gonna be so relaxing hopefully i'm so needed so yeah if you guys aren't already subscribed to our channel with this little girl trying to bite me. If you guys aren't already subscribed to our channel, definitely go ahead and make sure that you are subscribed. Join the Casey gang. And with that being said, I have to go ahead and call my Uber because yeah, it's time to go. So yeah, let me go ahead and do that. And yeah, I'm just really excited. Y'all, look who's helping me downstairs. Good morning. Oh, She's leaving me, y'all. She's leaving me. Mm. Just for a couple of days. Couple of days. Got everything done this morning? Yeah. Packed everything up. Mm -hmm. I hope so. Have you left? Hope not. Mm -hmm. Keeping sighted and responsibilities on the safety information card located in your seat back pocket. If you do not meet these criteria, you do not wish to perform these responsibilities or you have a hidden condition that prevents you from performing them or feel you might suffer bodily harm should you perform them, please contact a flight attendant. Last, last, last. Now everybody go to breakfast. <laughs> Go bow for the result, oh. Nothing to discuss, oh. Cause I take my wife out and without any doubt, oh. I'm a me, I be a doubt, oh. I no go feed the girl, I no go feed the girl is out, oh. I'm a mind that's you talk, oh. I put my life into my job and I know I'm in trouble. She manipulate my love, oh. We have arrived. It is so gorgeous. Drugs. Yeah, go to music. You guys want to try their barbecue chicken, barbecue Ooh. pork. Oh, right there. Right here? Yeah, but it's oh, I love it. Not until tomorrow. It's closed? Okay. Yeah, it's closed today. Today's Tuesday. It's closed. Okay. Yeah, okay. It is. All right, y'all, so it is definitely a lot later, but as you guys can see, we did arrive in St. Lucia. So I don't know if I told y'all that, like where we were going, but yeah, we did arrive in St. Lucia and y'all, it is so, 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 so dreamy. Like it is so dreamy. I'm so in love. It honestly gives me Bali vibes. So I'm honestly glad that I packed that dress. If you watched our My Boyfriend Rates My Outfits video, then 
you'll see that I packed a dress that I actually got from Bali, but I'm glad I brought it here because it just gives that vibe. Such a beautiful island, seriously, and the people here are so sweet. Like, literally, I love when I can go to a new country and just, like, experience the people and the culture. That's definitely what we're, what we're able to do uh, while we're here. So we're spending two days in an Airbnb that one of my mom's friends actually owns, and she was, you know, kind enough to let us stay here. So we're staying here for the first two days and then after that we're gonna go to a resort and we're gonna get more of like a resort vibe but I don't know like is it just me but like when I travel I like to you know really experience the place for what it is and not necessarily just like fully like touristy vibes like if we do that that's cool like you know we can go full on tourists that's cool but like I also appreciate a good like in town like in the community like you know like really just like in the culture experience as well and i feel like that really came from like when i did go on my trip to bali um it was 2019 but i went on like a study abroad and my professor like literally knew like the people there he knew the language like he goes there all the time so he like knew everything about it and he really like really cultured us honestly like he made sure that we were you know doing things that were a part of the culture we stayed in little villages we had the resort feel maybe like a little bit but honestly really not that much so we mostly did just like cultural stuff and i just grew such an appreciation for that type of like vibe so like i'm so happy that we're able to stay in this airbnb for the first two nights but yeah that was definitely such a blessing the lighting in here is kind of bad but you guys the sun is going down for sure i'm actually about to take me a little nap i don't know if y'all can tell but your girl is tired so yeah i'm definitely gonna take me a little nap um and yeah we're probably just gonna go ahead and just call it a night basically when we landed uh, we went through customs and everything was pretty crazy and then after that we actually just came to our airbnb and we chilled a little bit and then we actually walked down to the ocean because y'all the beach is a walking distance from our airbnb and it is so gorgeous like this beach is so gorgeous like i will show you the beach tomorrow i didn't even bring the camera with me we landed in paradise for real like saint lucia is gorgeous so i'm grateful like i told you guys like i really 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 needed this trip and it's already everything i needed and so much more like i needed this break i needed this time to really relax and just enjoy life and just have fun you know like i really just needed this so much and i'm just so grateful for my time here already and we're just like literally not even a full day in so yeah i'm about to go ahead and just take a quick nap we're gonna go get some hopefully some local food tonight there was like a little convenience like corner store in our little community and we actually got some like chicken and fries from there so that was pretty good but you know hopefully for to dinner tonight we're able to you know kind of go out into the city a little bit get some food um, yeah i'll talk to you guys and i'll see you guys a little bit later good morning you guys so it is officially the next day and y'all i am so in love with this country if you guys can hear there's like chickens running around there's like ducks there's freaking all types of animals just running around so many like stray cats and stray dogs but like we're in like a little community I might give you guys a glimpse of that today when i'm like kind of walking around but we're in like this little community there's like a little corner store owned by the local people uh there is a bar and grill down by the beach and then there's a beach like literally walking distance from where we are like our little airbnb and i think i was telling you guys this last night on the vlog but i love this like kind of just being in the culture type feel you know before we get to the actual like touristy like resort type vibe like i just feel so good and i like love this country it is so beautiful and the people here are so 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 nice and so beautiful as well i love meeting new people and just getting to know them and seeing their stories and you know just hearing from them like how they live and stuff like that uh, more about the language and just about the culture in general so i'm really just enjoying it this time seriously we just walked down to the like corner store and we got like some breakfast 
breakfast supplies so they had eggs but they actually didn't have bread and so they were telling us like you know the bread guy comes around every day to give us like bread like in the morning and the afternoon um, but the lady that was working there today she was like you know I actually make my own bread I'm gonna go and get you some like I'm gonna send one of my friends or one of my people to go and get you some and so she brought us back some bread and it smells so good you guys so i'm about to actually go ahead and start on breakfast i'm about to make the eggs and then we're about to eat it with our bread we got some like yogurt got some fruit juices and y'all yesterday we tried like this guava pineapple mixture juice and it was so freaking good so i'm super excited to try the orange juice today and you know just see what it's hitting on but like all of their juices are like mostly actual like real juice like it's not like all this artificial sweetener and just like extra stuff and you can really tell the difference it's so freaking good so I'm excited about the orange juice yeah I'm actually just about to go ahead and start cooking I want to show you guys just a little bit of the scenery so in the backyard you have like a bunch of like luscious green trees let me turn it around so you guys can really see but this is what like our view of the backyard looks like and you guys can't even like see the depth like I feel like the camera isn't doing it justice like it's actually so pretty yeah you can't see the depth of like how it like drops down but that's definitely what it gives and you know this is just the backyard but, but yeah we do have access to the beach which is definitely super nice so I'm definitely planning to go down there today and really just you know look a little cute because yesterday we just got here so I didn't get to do my makeup or anything so yeah I'm definitely gonna do my makeup put on like a bathing suit I didn't even have a bathing suit on yesterday but yeah so I'm gonna put on a bathing suit and really just chill by the beach today so it should definitely be a vibe actually I'm kind of glad that I'm not getting out there like super early because it is so scorching like it is so hot here but yeah y'all I'm just grateful I keep saying that but I'm just so grateful to be here this year has really been tough and dealing with everything like you know that I've been going through it's just like this was just so needed and I'm just so ready to just continue to travel the world I truly feel like traveling and you know seeing other parts of the world and meeting new people discovering and understanding new cultures like I feel like that is really what life is about so I'm just happy to be doing it and happy to be bringing you guys along with me on the journey it's just so beautiful and I just couldn't have more gratitude for today for this life like I mean nothing that i've gone through is bigger than god and is bigger than what god can do or greater than what god can do in your life because no matter what you go through like literally there's always light on the other side literally there's always light on the other side and that's one thing that i'm really learning this year and really just holding true to and i'm just grateful for the clarity and for the understanding like god is just so good so yeah y'all we are gonna go ahead and get into this day i'm about to show y'all while i cook I'm so excited to actually be cooking like I love cooking as you guys know like we love to cook so we always cook at home and just being able to cook is like it's giving me all the vibes so let me show you guys what I'm about to make and yeah so this is our little house that we're staying at and then i'm taking a walk i'm headed to the little corner store and i just want to give you guys a glimpse of you know just what we're working with the little town and community that we're in so this is the path to get to the like convenience store and that's where i'm about to go right now and this is it right here Because it is gorgeous, like literally, 
gorgeous. So yeah, as you guys can see, we're just laid out, chilling, having a good time. We're probably just gonna chill by the beach today and just enjoy the vibes. I don't know if y'all can even hear me for real because these waves are so loud, but I love it. Like these waves are kind of like big. And I think that the Islanders said that, you know, they're kind of big over here. So like a lot of people don't even swim over here, but honestly, it's like a private beach. Like we're the only ones on the beach and it's just the vibe. So yeah, definitely enjoying it. Just soaking it all in. Loving it. Y'all, this is our restaurant. Oh my gosh, look how gorgeous it is. Uh, the camera doesn't even, yeah. The camera doesn't even do it justice like uh, how gorgeous it is oh my gosh this is just paradise so yeah y'all we just ordered our food we're about to actually eat and then we're gonna go from there but yeah i'm just super excited to be here oh, it's gorgeous at this restaurant <laughs> This island is the beautiful. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that, but like, <laughs> let's really talk about it. We've just been chilling here pretty much for the rest of the day. We just got food here. So, yeah. Your body drive me crazy. Your body need a license fit. Your body are too tight and neat. Anybody who got eyes can't see. She just wanna dance and tea. She just wanna dance and tea. What's up, you guys? It is a new day. I don't know when the last time I picked up my camera was. I'm not even gonna lie. I've been just really, like I told you guys, just enjoying the time here and, you know, really just taking it all in, spending time, you know, really just rejuvenating and re-energizing honestly like so that's honestly why i haven't picked up the camera but hopefully you guys get to see a good glimpse of my trip i want to show you guys this house this villa that we're in now it is absolutely stunning and gorgeous i think this is like honestly the nicest place that i've ever stayed in this place is literally so beautiful like saint lucia is so beautiful it's ridiculous so yeah, we have a beautiful view of like the bay, the harbor. We have a jam-packed day ahead of us. But yeah, we're about to go ahead and get ready to go to breakfast. But I wanted to take you guys and show y'all what we're working with, you know, just to start off the day. Don't mind the room. It's definitely a mess now because I've been doing content. I've been doing like all types of stuff like for, you know, just getting little videos here and there. But yeah, you guys, Tyron was like texting me yesterday. He was like, um, you're, no, we were on the phone. We were on FaceTime. He's like, um, you're not posting enough on Instagram. And I'm like, look, my vibe right now is just living life. But no, seriously, like, I was like, uh, yeah, about that. So yeah, I did end up posting yesterday, but like I told you guys, like, I've just been chilling, just trying to, you know, enjoy this time because I feel like, you know, like I said, I haven't had vacation for real for real in so long and I'm like, I'm gonna enjoy this, like really, really enjoy it. So yeah, it is currently eight o'clock. What time is it? It is eight thirty-four. Um, so yeah, we're about to head to get some breakfast now. And with this resort, it is actually built into the side of like a hill. So like to get up to our room, you have to literally take a like van or like a taxi type thing. What do you call it? A shuttle. You have to take a shuttle bus to get up here, and it's like the roads are so windy and they're so steep it's actually so scary to get up here but it's so gorgeous like where this is so i'm gonna show you guys the room i'm gonna show you guys the view like this is just beautiful i have my own room so as you guys know i'm on a trip with my mom for her birthday but i have my own room so it's definitely a vibe up here and you know so i'm gonna take you guys and just show y'all what it's giving so y'all don't mind the fact that the beds are not made up <laughs> but this is the walkway that i'm standing in and then this is what opens up to the room and it is gorgeous i'm not gonna lie like because this is such an indoor outdoor feel y'all yeah the bugs have been out heavy but i have my own window right here and it is such a beautiful view like i feel like the camera never does it justice but it's all good and then 
we have did my mom lock it oh my mom was sitting out here so she must have locked it but then we have this little private patio out here as well and y'all look at the freaking view like are you joking are you joking right now this is like to show you guys like how much of a cliff this thing is on but like it continues to go up <laughs> but this hotel like this resort is so gorgeous like are we seeing this you guys are we really seeing this i think that's a mango tree right there too are we seeing this like what is this i'm like pinch me i must be dreaming like this is all for me that is so good you guys i'm just i'm so grateful to be here and honestly this is like just like the cherry on top because y'all know that like the first place we were staying in was kind of like village vibes we were kind of just like in the community and stuff like that this is like definitely resort vibes and we're definitely like in a crazy resort right now so yeah this is actually called the windjammer resort if you guys are interested in staying here while you're in st lucia and that's what it's called but it's definitely pretty like it's super 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 pretty like the views are insane um and yeah it's just overall a vibe so i just want to take you guys along with me today and see if maybe i can get a little bit more footage but let's take you back into the room again do not mind the mess in here all right and then this over here is again my own private bathroom first of all i love the attention to detail like in this room because like there's like this thing right here and it has like the little light in it and then there's another one on that side of the room and like i used it as my nightlight so i didn't even turn it off for actually i didn't end up turning it off but like not after a long while and then this is like a little makeup area well i'm gonna be using it as a makeup area i'm guessing that's what it is but yeah, this is a little makeup area i think it's so cute that it's there so yeah i'm just using that for my toiletries and stuff like that and then this is the closet area i will be using one of those robes tonight okay period and then this is the bathroom so it's definitely a cute little calm little vibe but yeah i think it's super cute in here like it just it's such a vibe here in st lucia like i just love it so much and i'm really just excited for today i honestly don't even know what we truly have planned for today i think that we're doing some snorkeling maybe maybe and then we might be doing like just some excursions but i know for sure there's like a street market on fridays here in st lucia which is friday and then there is like friday night parties and stuff like that and i know my mom's gonna want to like go out and get lit and stuff like that so yeah we're probably gonna go to both of those and see what the vibes are but yeah right now we're actually about to go to breakfast and buy the actual restaurant down there there is the beach there's the ocean so i was like you know why not just get some breakfast take a quick dip because honestly as many times as we've been to the beach while we're here we haven't really fully gotten in because if y'all noticed in that last beach the the waters were kind of rough i don't know if i told y'all but the waters were kind of rough there so yeah there it wasn't like a swimming vibe like it was just more like dip your toes in because if those waves like really crash on you you could easily get like pulled out too far and you know those currents could really pull you out so we didn't really get in and that's what all like the village people were telling us they're like yeah honestly these waters are too rough for us so we really don't swim over here which now that we're at this new beach like now that we're at this new part of the island like i see why they say that because y'all will see the difference i think i showed you guys um, yesterday on the video but y'all will see like i'm gonna show you guys again when we actually get in but yeah the waters over here are like 20 million times more calm and it honestly looks and feels like a lake so that's like the huge difference of it um the waves are like kind of still there but it's like very very mild so yeah i think it will be fun to just take a quick dip this morning and you know just get our feet a little wet and actually just really go for a swim because we have yet to do that so yeah i was like you know why not just get some breakfast and go ahead and just take a sip so that is the plan that's why i have on my bathing suit and yeah so with that being said we're actually going to go ahead and go down to breakfast now and we will see you guys down there when we get there all right y'all so i figured since i'm probably not going to be able to give you guys a get ready with me on tiktok i was like might as well just try and do one for youtube but 
yeah y'all i'm about to really attempt for you guys to do a get ready with me this hair has been really interesting like i love this style but like <laughs> nobody talks about the management of it all like what and then the lady left my leave out out as well and then up here at the top you guys like where she left my leave out out like my hair is a completely different texture than it is at the front so in the middle like back of my head like that hair texture right there is completely different from what it is in the front so this should be really interesting on you know and it has been really interesting on actually been able to stay and you know do what i wanted to do so yeah and then also i didn't bring a brush or a comb which was like my fault completely my fault because i should definitely be brushing this hair out but you know it's all good i have a collaboration to actually film when i get back home so i'm definitely going to be taking this hair right on out and yeah it's just gonna be one of them type vibes but yeah y'all so i am gonna be getting ready i did have a few cocktails <laughs> a little lit so yeah we're just gonna maneuver through this i actually just got out the shower all that good stuff just put some mousse in my hair as y'all can see this is the style factor brand mousse which i didn't even know that they had but mm, this is really good and honestly the only reason i really got it was because it was a travel size version and i couldn't find any more travel size versions of you know actual mousse so you know that is really what that was about but i honestly really do like it but yeah y'all i'm actually speeding through my makeup routine right now because i'm really supposed to be downstairs already but i decided to take me a little plunge in the pool okay i decided to really just take my time so yeah i'm actually going to be doing my makeup routine real quick and i'll give y'all a little glimpse at that if you guys don't know i never show my brows on camera but this is the benefit precisely my brow pencil this is in 4.5 and this is honestly my holy grail i use this every single time i do my eyebrows y'all i haven't mastered the whole like glue and you know that type of like eyebrow routine but we gonna get there <laughs> we gonna get there it's definitely a time right now where i'm at like in my life right now where i'm like okay i have to upgrade my makeup because if you guys didn't know i've actually been on youtube since i was like 15 16 so when i was in high school that's when i started my first youtube channel so since then i've just been you know on and off really but you know i've really had a love for makeup since then but y'all i'm not gonna lie my my techniques my products like everything is a little bit outdated because i got out of makeup like in 2019 and 2020 like i really wasn't into it for real like i would just do it you know how i used to do it but now i'm really starting to get back into makeup a little bit so if you guys have any like makeup recommendations anything that you love to use don't hesitate to drop those down below in the comment section because i'm definitely open to it i'm definitely planning a full revamp on my like makeup collection my sephora my ulta like i'm about to hit those stores and go crazy spend like my bread but like once you do it the thing i love about makeup is like i feel like once you really like invest in your makeup like one good time you will have to do it for like honestly years now like some of the makeup that i have and that i use right now is like years old now this is a product that i do use every day is my eyebrow pencil but like products that you only use like sparingly like your, your bronzers your blushes you know your highlights like those are things that i've had literally for years and i still use them to this day and i feel like you know you can just reuse those over and over but when it comes to like everyday products of course you're gonna have to restock those but once you really invest in like you know some high quality products even my translucent powder like i don't use like so much like i don't bake or anything like that really so like even that has been able to stretch so that's definitely a blessing but yeah you guys i'm about to show you guys my quick makeup routine i'm probably gonna speed through it because i don't want to bore you guys <laughs> but yeah i'm getting ready to go back out and really just take some content honestly that was my plan for today um, i just got done being by the beach and being in the pool and if you guys follow us on tiktok or instagram you definitely be able to see that content so definitely be, be sure that you're actually following us on tiktok on instagram and all that good stuff so that you can see the content that we actually released but yeah i'm super excited to get this day started so let's really just get into this makeup I like that song. What 
was that song? Yeah, that was a good little song. Yeah, yeah, add to library. You know when you got your phone on shuffle and it just, it just hit. Why didn't this song seem like it came back around and like it's popping again now? That's kind of weird. Yeah. You'll try to come back when you fail. I always want to do, but it's that I don't see you. You got something. So clearly, my concealer is officially too light for me. I've been getting some serious tan out here. And y'all, I'm a little chocolate. I'm a little chocolate now. So, but I love it, honestly. Love a good tan. You know, that's what we came here for. So, but honestly, I feel like when you really, when you really understand makeup and how it really works, you know that like a lot of times it really doesn't matter. Now, don't get me wrong. When you know, like makeup and your skin tone like and it's not like too far off then honestly it doesn't really even matter like if it's really your real shade or not because like you can you know finesse it at the end of the day but like yeah my concealer is officially a shade too light it's cool though you know we're gonna make it work and i didn't wear any foundation guys because it's too fucking hot it is too it is too hot to be talking about some foundation y'all like this is my 15 minute makeup routine so y'all are getting to see it firsthand like literally <laughs> we finna whip this up in 15 minutes and y'all i can tell my mom has been in my makeup she thinks she's slick but i can tell my mom has been in my makeup because all my brushes are literally basically ruined because she's been using my brushes for the wrong reasons it's cool though. I'm definitely gonna give them a good wash when I get home. But yeah, she she really thinks she's slick. And she's just not because like, I can tell when she's been in my makeup. Like my eyebrow brush was tripping. My foundation brush was off. And I'm just like, hmm, if it wasn't me, who could it have been, you know? But anastasia beverly hills like these are some of the old products that i tell y'all like i've still been using for years now i feel like once you invest into your makeup like one good time you'll be good they actually just got here hey I'm sorry. hi how are you i'm doing good oh thank you i'm like hoping that this is blending right but honestly, the lighting in here isn't like the best and I don't have, I actually do have my light, my little LED light, but like, is it that serious? No, like this is literally my 15 minute makeup routine. So we're not gonna do too much, but yeah, I didn't wanna bring out my full like lighting and everything just cause I feel like it wasn't really necessary and like I could probably pull it off without it. But the thing about doing your makeup in like terrible lighting is that you never know until you really get into the right lighting and you're like, dang, that came out cute, hold on. So yeah, they were following up about the bug spray that we got because y'all like, it's an indoor outdoor feel and that's like cute and all until there's big ass spiders in your room. And not to say that there was a whole bunch, but like there was one. And honestly for me, that's enough like i don't know about y'all but a uh, one spider is enough for me and honestly you guys i really do love nature <laughs> i don't know when i got like this like so like super like just paranoid and terrified of bugs but like i can't do it anymore like i just can't do it anymore but yeah so she they got us some bug spray and stuff. my mom is facetiming me like oh, where the hell are you at let's see what she has to Hey, I'm almost hey, done. What you want for uh, lunch? What y'all getting? I'm gonna get the roll tea. Send me them. They what's the, the what they got? Yeah, yeah, what else they got? They got they got burgers, steak sandwich. They got po po pokey. Pokey. No, no, you don't want pokey. 
No. Yeah, they do. But I'm getting the chicken roti because y'all got me last time with that. Uh, is the fish it. fried? Uh, main course of the day. You have the menu on your the phone? Fish chips are, the fish and chips are fried. You have the menu on your phone? Uh, I got it right here in front of me. Oh, let me see. Hmm. Looks good. Um, want the fried fish and chips? Yeah, low key. Let's see. What the piton beer batter? Mahi mahi? What's mahi mahi? That's good. That's a good fish. I like the white fish. Okay. It's just the fried fish. Fried That's fish. Good. I'll get that. Okay. Do they have fried uh shrimp? Yeah, what? Fried shrimp. I'm gonna ask about that. All right. There they go with the small bite. They got deep fried calamari. I don't see fried no. shrimp, but I'll ask. Okay. I'm gonna get the chicken roti because y'all got me, and I'm probably gonna eat y'all's fish and chips. Uh uh. Yeah, you could just give me that. I'll All be right. down in a second. Fish and chips. See, you should do the whole makeup. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Got All right. Bye bye. Got lunch on the way. Like, am I dreaming? Like, pinch me because I must be dreaming. This is the life. This is really the life, you guys. Like, luxury. Living in luxury for real, for real. But yeah, I'm pretty much done with my makeup. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna pop some lashes on. Let's see where they are. These lashes are so cute. I wish I could remember the brand. And I just don't. I really just don't. But yeah, I'm about to pop these lashes on and then head back downstairs. And honestly, I'm going to try to take some pictures before my lunch comes. So let's hurry up and pop these lashes on like real, real quick. Because I am getting a little hungry. I can't even lie. But yeah, I'm going to try to pop these lashes on real quick and take some pictures, get some content. And then yeah, see you guys at downstairs. All right, y'all, so this is how everything came out with my look today. It's really cute. I just have on this, like, white top and then these, like, khaki shorts. And that's kind of the look for today. I'm really excited, though. We just actually came back from the beach. I actually just kind of went to get my mom and then we ate. As you guys heard over the phone, I was ordering food, so we ate some lunch. So now I think we're about to go into the town and, and just kind of see what they have. Hopefully we can find some maybe like souvenirs, some things that we can bring home. I saw some belly beads down there, so maybe we can find some of those out, you know, and stuff like that. It's really just been like a chill experience here. I think tomorrow we're going to go and do excursions and stuff like that, hopefully, fingers crossed. But you know, it's really just been like a chill travel experience and honestly, I'm super grateful for it. I needed this just like relaxing like type of vibe, honestly. So yeah, I'm really just super happy. And yeah, I'm actually gonna go ahead and just kind of rinse my feet off because they're really dirty from the stands. And yeah, I'm gonna rinse my feet off real quick, get some more flicks, and then we're probably just gonna go ahead and head out. Well, you guys, we have reached the end of the trip and I just wanted to Really just taking into this view like one more good time because it's actually insane but honestly overall trip was a 10 out of 10 i want to tell you guys what we did today so we actually went on a boat excursion that was this morning and i'm definitely going to insert some clips for you guys because i didn't take this camera because i didn't want to get it wet or i didn't want to risk actually dropping it in the ocean so yeah i didn't take this camera but i did get some clips for you guys so that you could see we did the mud bath we went to the waterfall here we also went snorkeling i want to say that we did one more thing but i can't really remember i don't think we did but we did go to lunch with them as well so it was like a jam-packed tour of the island it was so much fun you guys it was on a speedboat so it was just so fun i'm gonna definitely insert some clips for you guys but i loved it y'all i just i've had the best time here and honestly this was just so needed my vlogging was honestly six out of ten like i did not do a good job vlogging but honestly that was the point you guys i really just wanted to take this time and really just soak 
this trip specifically in of course you guys will be seeing more traveling content from me and Tyron when we're actually going on trips together this was like a much more chill trip and really just the whole purpose of it was just like relaxation and you know being able to just like rejuvenate and stuff like that because you guys like I said I've never I haven't been on a vacation in literal years so this was just so needed and I definitely got that relaxation that time just to take a breath of fresh air to regroup to rejuvenate like I definitely got all of that within this trip so I'm, I just couldn't be more grateful for it and you know even just like where we're staying I mean this is easily one of the best places I've ever stayed like this view I mean I I can't get over it you know so this is our last night here and I'm so sad to leave but I'm also ready to get back home to Tyron and to our baby kitty that we just got I actually miss her so much y'all like I really feel like I left my child in Atlanta so but man am I gonna miss this view am I gonna miss this view this trip has been such a success such a breath of fresh air and I just am excited to bring you guys even more travel content this year as we go different places and just see different things just get ready for it okay because the KT gang is going to be in on it all you already know how we do but yeah so for our last night we're actually going to eat at one of the restaurants on the resort that we didn't get to eat at yet it's a steakhouse so hopefully it's really really good and yeah I, I'm blown away by the beauty of this island and the people here and just the experience as a whole like 10 out of 10 I honestly will be back in St. Lucia like I love it that much to where I'm like okay I have to come back so yeah you guys that is what we're doing I don't know if I showed you guys this fit but it's really just like a little blue dress and honestly it's just super chill with my vibe right now as you guys can see I have like no makeup on I wiped up all my makeup first of all all my makeup came off in the ocean let's just start there because I did wear a little bit of makeup earlier this morning and yeah by the time I got home it was all off my face so I just wiped it all off and was like you know what fuck it you know but yeah so this is just my vibe just really chilling and you know really just enjoying this last night I really wish the camera would do this view justice but it just doesn't it's just like you literally have to be here experiencing it and seeing it like to really understand the magnitude of the beauty of this island like what but yeah you guys i'm gonna go ahead and go and stop rambling but i love you guys so much i'm so happy that you guys were able to come on this journey and on this trip with me and really just see this because honestly this was just like a really transformative moment in my life and honestly it's just um, it just brings me so much joy that you guys were able to be there and see it and just witness it all with me as well even though you probably didn't get to see like that much footage i hope that you guys did get a good feel of what it's been like to be here and again this will not be my last time here so st lucia will see me again and you guys will see us in st lucia again because it's just that it's, it's just that beautiful like i'm no exaggeration so yeah with that being said you guys i'm about to go ahead and get ready to go to dinner which i don't have to do much more but you know a little perfume a little razzle dazzle and then we're gonna go ahead and go to dinner and i'll see you guys next time. Cause I don't wanna hurt nobody Did it over text, didn't call me Still got love for your mommy I know you wanna be somebody